Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell and select all to be notified on my future postings. Today I'm going to be sharing this sweet little home sweet home sign that just makes the statement, hello I'm farmhouse. Well, I decided that I wanted to change it a little bit since I'm moving into my cottage and make it go more towards a French country feel. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So this sweet home sweet home sign was purchased from Michael's. It's quite a long piece and I know exactly where it's going to go in my new home. So I taped off. I use this wide tape. It's nice because when I'm painting the edges sometimes I tend to slip and I have that wide band of tape. I will be using the chalk paint that I purchased from Michaels, 120 grit sandpaper. This wax I purchased from Michaels, it's an antiquing wax, and some Annie Sloan dark black wax. And Gold Guild by Martha Stewart. I will use this angle brush for painting the black around the frame. This round brush for when I apply my wax. And this small chippy brush when I do my antiquing. So I'm just going to start off by working on the inside and painting all around and I will just be doing one coat since I'm going to be heavily distressing this sign. There's no need to double coat it and make my work harder for myself. So a single coat will work just fine. So I go all around the edges on the inside. See, look, I'm already going up on that blue tape. That's why it's so great to have the wide tape. Now that the inside is done, I'll work on the outer edges. And again, just one coat. I just absolutely love painting. It really calms my nerves. It's been so busy over here too with all of the packing, getting ready to move. So painting is just as relaxing as if I was outside with my hands in the dirt. Just about finished with the frame. I'm going to let it dry and then come back for some distressing. Okay, so now she's all painted. And she's still looking farmhouse. <laughs> now I'm going to use the 120 grit and just distress all on the edges 
just everywhere. In this process, you know, it's just really to your preference. I just wanted it highly distressed. So I started on the outside edges and then worked my way on the inside. There's some good distressing here. I'm just going to add some more on my corners. It's looking really good. This is the longest process, the sanding part. So I have the whole top portion done. It's going to look great when I put the antiquing wax on it. And now I'll be working on the bottom half. So that's why you just want to apply one coat so you don't make your work, you know, any harder than it needs to be. So you can see I started with the distressing on the inside. Perfect. Now I'm going to use this wax. Again, it was purchased at Michael's. It's so simple to use. Just going to use a small chippy brush. And it's just as simple as just applying it on. I like to put it on kind of thick. And then just taking a towel and wiping it off. As you can see, it really warms up the areas that have been distressed. Whenever you work with woods and you distress them, it tends to make the wood underneath much lighter. And I like it to have that that warm look. That's why this wax is so great. And just wipe it off. See how the wood is really light. And when I wipe it off, it just gives it that rich color. So it's slowly starting to transform for me away from the farmhouse into the French country. such a difference. It's nice and warm, and much lighter. Definitely adds some great interest for sure. So I finished with all of the waxing. And now we get to work on the inside. This is the exciting part. Just gonna remove all the tape off. It's kinda hard with the gloves on.
We're going to use uh, by Martha Stewart the liquid guild paint. Shake it up real good. And just give it a nice, good coat. Now I'm actually going to put two coats on. I normally do more than that, like about three to five. But the reason that I want to put just two coats on is because I want some of the galvanized look to still come through from the Gold Guild. Because it really helps with the whole aging process. So one good coat, then I let it dry and then I come back and add a second. This paint is very strong to work with too. I highly suggest working with it outdoors and still place on a mask. It's so strong. starting to transform now. I was so excited when I was painting this. Whenever I do a project, I never quite sure know how it's going to turn out. And this one did have a few surprises that I was not expecting. So I have the two coats on. And all this embossing is gonna help trap in some of the dark wax. I, again, I will be using Annie Sloan her dark wax with the round brush. As you can see, I've already placed some of it on and you can see some of the galvanized come through the gold. So I apply the dark wax and then I wipe it off. And when I wipe it off, some of the gold comes off as well, letting the other color come through, which is absolutely perfect. Now Martha's gilding paint does lift quite a bit when you use the wax. Now liquid leaf, that's just a, a bit stronger, so when you put the wax on it, it just pretty much stays in place. But Martha's will lift up a little bit. But again, that was absolutely perfect for this project because I wanted it to. I want to have the different layers coming through. It's just as simple as just applying on the wax and wiping it off. just about finished and again this is all to your liking if you want it darker you just keep adding on the wax so as I pulled back the sign 
I noticed that I wanted a little bit more shadowing. So this is where the surprise came in. So I used one of my Lottie Dottie chalk painting pins. I believe I purchased them from Michaels. And I just outlined around the letters and then just wipe it off with a towel and it just gives a nice shading effect. I was not expecting having to do this. I really thought that the wax was really going to get trapped up more onto the lettering. But no worries. I just thought, okay, well, I'll use this chalk pen and it will help. worked out nicely. I do that a lot with my furniture too. If it gets a nick, I'll get a black colored pin and I'll just smudge it over to cover up the spot. So this is just really going to let my letters stand out more. It gives it that good visual interest. And you see the galvanize underneath the gold and the dark shading from the wax and then with this chalk pen. I'm absolutely loving how this is turning out. The sign actually right now is having a bit of a primitive feel to me. but that will change. <laughs> Just keep going around the letters and the different areas. This was really soothing to do. Just wanted to keep outlining it. You get a marker in my hand or a paintbrush in my hand and no telling what's gonna happen. There we have it. Now I'm going to place on some polyacrylic and I am gonna use clear gloss, not matte. And when I get into my new home, you'll see why I went with the clear gloss and not the matte. And when I put this gloss on, it's going to immediately transform it into more of a French country feel because of the gloss versus the primitive. It's just as simple as adding on some gloss. So as you can see, the bottom has been glossed and the top has not. Take you in a little bit closer. Just really gives it a nice French country, old world feel. Absolutely love how this is turning out. And that part's unfinished. and I did apply two coats of poly. There's the difference with the poly and not. It's as simple as that. <laughs> 